the very first moments of the movie transport us to the realm of a young, charming boy named Boy, our main protagonist. We take a glimpse into his daily habits as he traverses the journey of his life with an unwavering belief. As the call to the dawn's prayer sounds, we depict him hastily waking up from his slumber, performing ablution, and then praying faithfully, thanking God for his blessings, a scene paving the way for the beginning of the tale. During the morning, we find Boy enjoying cold water in the pool, swimming professionally, before returning to his room to prepare himself to kick off the day. After adorning his finest clothes and putting on a suitable watch, he grabs his bag and immediately rushes downstairs to greet his parents before leaving for campus. His sister, Ine, joins him shortly after accompanying each other in a luxurious car. Boy is portrayed as a perfect young man, aside from being handsome and devout. He also comes from a wealthy family. Upon arrival at Ine's school, Boy bids his sister farewell and finds himself besieged by female fans due to his irresistible handsomeness. After taking some pictures with them, he continues his journey to campus. At a red light, ever helpful and considerate, Boy purchases tissues from a poor girl who keeps striving to earn her daily living. He even goes the extra mile. When he sees an old man falling on the road, he immediately rushes towards him and helps him cross the street by carrying him on his back. Boy's attractiveness and kindness greatly impress people, eliciting praise. Shortly thereafter, Boy arrives at the campus. He is an excellent student at Crown University and has two close friends, Andy and Amon. We depict the trio heading to their class together. On the other hand, we find a girl named Acha, along with her friends, fixing her makeup impeccably, eagerly awaiting Boy's arrival. Much to her dismay, when Boy greets her and promptly leaves, she seems to have developed an affection for him. In the classroom, she approaches Boy, extending an invitation to her birthday party, kindly requesting his presence to liven up the atmosphere. However, Iman, ever curious, disrupts their conversation. After learning that the invitation card only serves one person, he mocks her, stating that Boy already has a girlfriend, and that her cunning plan to steal him is as obvious as daylight. Acha protests, denying any similar intention, leading to a small debate between the two. As a result, Acha, both annoyed and embarrassed, leaves the group. Once the session begins, the teacher announces a surprising test, much to the student's frustration. However, Boy's silver tongue changes her mind, and therefore she delays testing for another day, much to his colleague's delight. After the lecture, we find Boy practicing boxing at the gym with his friend Andy. Shortly thereafter, Boy's girlfriend, Nuke, walks in, paying her beloved a visit. Suddenly, the atmosphere in the gym changes. With her charming beauty, she captures all men's attention. Welcoming her warmly, Boy soon recognizes the eagle eyes fixed on Nuke. Feeling uncomfortable, he immediately escorts her away to a safer place. In the following sequence, we depict Boy and Nuke riding a motorcycle. As they enjoy the splendid weather and the eye-popping scenes of nature unfolding before them, soon, they take a private jet to enjoy their luxury vacation on the beach, living the life of Riley and spending time together in a romantic ambience. They ride the jet ski through the azure waves of the sea and frolic together on the shores, happy as clams, as they joyfully splash each other. Later on, Nuke expresses deeply her love for Boy, a mutual feeling. Boy, wearing his heart on his sleeve, responds affectionately, assuring her that his life is as dry as dust without her presence, pledging to never let her down. All of a sudden, Nuke retrieves a piece of paper from her bag, asking Boy to put pen to paper and jot down all of his hopes and dreams regarding their relationship. Afterwards, they will put their papers in a bottle and eventually bury them in the sand, their treasure secret. Therefore, they write down their respective hopes and keep it under wraps as agreed. Nuke, with a warm tone, wishes that one day they will come back to uncover the contents of the paper together. At the end of a dreamy day, Boy accompanies Nuke home. However, as usual, Nuke puts up a stop sign at Boy's entrance. The latter expresses his desire to meet her parents, but Nuke, with a heavy heart, reveals her father's iron fist. Nuke's attitude is well understood by Boy. Therefore, he makes himself scarce immediately after Nuke enters the house. Meanwhile, Nuke's parents have been waiting for her arrival inside. Her father looks strongly against his daughter's relationship with Boy, seeing it as a thorn in his side. Upon questioning his reasons, Nuke's father reveals that his parents' partners tried to bribe him in order to get their business license without a legal procedure. In an attempt to defend her lover, Nuke assures him that Boy is not involved and doesn't have any idea about the matter, only to add fuel to the fire of her father's rage. Therefore, he sternly orders Nuke to cut ties with Boy. Nuke turns to her mother, 
protesting about these accusations, much to her dismay when she discovers that the same thing goes for her mother, who encourages Nuke to toe the line with her father's warnings, prompting Nuke to leave with tears in her eyes. Later that night, after watching a horror movie, in a rushes to boy's room, seeking refuge next to her brother. After inspecting her brother's facial expressions, Anna notices that he is head over heels with his girlfriend. He confides to his sister that he treasures Nuke's existence in his life and is willing to love her, come hell or high water. Little does he know that fate has a card up its sleeve. In the following scene, we depict Boy dressed to the nines in preparation for the approaching New Year's Eve. His eyes fall on an elegant tuxedo, believing that it will fit him like a glove. Shortly after, Boy reaches out to his girlfriend, inviting her to the New Year's party. Despite his burning desire to sweep her off her feet, Nuke insists that flying solo is a better choice, under the guise of pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Boy rolls out the red carpet for all of his friends at his plush pad to mark the occasion. We get a glimpse of the party in full swing, the guests reveling in their reunion, lost in laughter, and cutting a rug to the captivating music. However, Acha's night goes down the drain when Boy gives her the cold shoulder upon her arrival. Despite being dressed to the nines and her hair done up to a tee, she fails to turn his head. Roaming around, Boy immediately sets out to find Nuke's whereabouts on the balcony. After spotting her from a distance, Boy makes a beeline for her, offering a drink and laying it on thick about her beauty. The two lovebirds are seen having an awesome time. However, Boy smells something weird about Nuke's behavior. Probing her changed attitude, Nuke assures him that everything is fine. Nevertheless, she can't spill the beans that her parents are against their relationship. She is caught between a rock and a hard place, torn between her loyalty to her family and her undying love for her partner. At that moment, with tears welling up in her eyes, Nuke grabs Boy's face, pouring out her heart to him, calling the night the time of her life and expressing gratitude for his company. We sense love in the air as we see them inching towards each other to steal a kiss. Unfortunately, Inna and Iman throw a spanner in the works, souring the mood. Therefore, they dive into the festivities of the night, ringing in the new year together. The scene is sealed with shared vows and a bear hug between Boy and Nuke. Before they know it, a week has flown by, and Nuke is off the grid, with her phone number always out of reach. With a heavy heart, Nuke pens Boy a letter, a vitriolic kiss-off letter, containing her parents' disapproval, making their love at the end of a street. Angry and let down by her parents' judgments, Nuke decides to hit the road seeking a clean slate to mend her broken heart. Not mincing his words, Boy heads to Nuke's house in a bid to catch her before she takes flight. However, after a brief spat, the security guard throws a monkey wrench into his plans. Therefore, Boy decides to hold his horses for Mr. Nuke, in an attempt to convince him of his earnest intent to tie the knot with his daughter. Shortly after, Mr. Nuke clocks out from work. Without batting an eye, Boy makes a beeline for him, asking him about his opposition to their relationship. However, Mr. Nuke doesn't give a straight answer. He claims that he just wants his daughter to hit the books and tells him to stop flogging a lifeless horse, urging him to turn over a new leaf. Little do they know, Nuke was eavesdropping on their conversation, and once she hears her father, she makes a quick exit, tears streaming down her face like a waterfall. In the following moments, we depict the couple's tough times weathering the storm. Boy is at his wit's end, and despite his efforts to meet Nuke, he draws a blank. Therefore, he retreats to his lair, Boy's distress is also felt by Inna and his two best friends, who are curious over the problem that has cropped up between the two since Nuke suddenly dropped off the face of the earth. In the next scene, we find Nuke gearing up to jet off to the airport to further her studies abroad. Before her departure, her father wears his heart on his sleeve, expressing his deep love for her and giving her a bare hug. However, on the flip side, Nuke is still seething over his decision. Meanwhile, Boy is still keeping tabs on Nuke's house. When he spots her car, he tails it on the road. Boy brings Nuke's car to a screeching halt in the middle of the road, determined to talk to her. Despite the guard's attempt to stop him, Nuke's mother gives her the green light to square things up with Boy properly. With a heavy heart, Nuke apologizes for leaving him, stating that she can't go against her father's orders. With tear-filled eyes, Boy finds himself biting the bullet, accepting Nuke's departure, even though his heart is breaking. After bidding each other farewell and sharing a heartfelt hug filled with love and longing, Nuke immediately resumes her journey, crying a river with her mother offering a shoulder to cry on, leaving Boy heartbroken, being extremely fragile and down in the dumps. Boy wallows in sorrow after his lover's departure, retreating to their old videos, seeking comfort, reminiscent of their halcyon days together. In a 
ever a shoulder to cry on, shares his sorrow with him, trying to lighten the load. As the new academic year rolls around, it's time for the new student admission tests to kick off. Crown University is throwing a welcome bash for the newcomers. We get a glimpse of the festivities, brimming with dancing, singing, and whoops of joy. As usual, Acha, the bell of the ball, gracefully takes the reins of the event. Shortly after, Boy joins in, stealing the spotlight. One of the new students, named Vera, has already fallen head over heels for Boy at first sight. She wears her heart on her sleeve, telling her friend about her crush on him. Much to her chagrin, Acha overhears their conversation, prompting her to rib Vera. Later on, we depict Vera and her friends flocking around Amon, asking for his autograph. Spotting Boy from a distance, Vera plucks up the courage and makes a beeline for him in a bid to get his autograph. On the other hand, we depict Acha seeing red as she notices her approaching Boy from afar. Her friends egg her on to take action and put her in her place. Chiding them for stepping out of line with their seniors, Acha throws down the gauntlet to Vera and her friends, challenging them to a dance-off as punishment. Far from being backed into a corner, Vera and her friends stand their ground and dance up a storm, drawing a crowd that gathers to enjoy the riveting performance. Boy and his friends join the fray, looking on in awe. Despite their attempts to steal Vera's thunder, Acha and her friends end up being shown up by the juniors. Unable to swallow the bitter pill of defeat, Acha decides to get even. Therefore, the trio corners Vera in the restroom and sets their devious plan in motion by dousing her with flour and water, causing her to scream blue murder. Soon, while Vera makes a run for it, escaping their dirty tricks, students start poking fun at her and laughing at her appearance. Noticing the commotion, Boy steps in immediately, livid to see the new students being picked on by the seniors. He takes Vera by the hand and leads her away. In the following moments, we find Boy, ever the gentleman, helping Vera to clean up the mess on her clothes. With a heavy heart, she wonders aloud why she seems to be the black sheep. She reveals that she returned to Vietnam to make friends, not enemies. In response, Boy extends his hand, introducing himself as her first friend on campus, a move that deepens Vera's affection for him. After lending her a helping hand, Boy storms the room, directing a stern warning to Acha and her friends, calling a spade a spade about their... He addresses Acha, assuring her that being a part of the committee doesn't give her carte blanche to do anything she wants, pushing her to protect the campus's reputation instead of acting like a kid in a candy store. Acha and her friends find themselves between a rock and a hard place, unable to say anything. They only swallow Boy's bitter pill. The following day, on the way to campus, Vera's bag gets snatched at the red light. Boy, who was an eyewitness to the incident, decides to take the bull by the horns. Therefore, he chases the thieves like a modern-day Robin Hood. Boy, using his exceptional boxing skills, knocks the socks off both men and brings them to the ground. Eventually, he manages to get the ball rolling by getting Vera's bag back and advises her to keep her car's roof closed next time, or she might be caught off guard again. Vera, impressed by his heroic actions and his bravery, is grateful for his intervention, looking at him with eyes full of admiration. In the following sequence, upon his entrance to the classroom, Boy discovers a little box on his seat. Vera offers him a cake as a token of gratitude, a gesture met with a wide smile. Later that day, Boy and Vera cross paths at the library. He thanks her for the cupcake and is appreciative of her gesture. Before hitting the road, Vera takes his phone to tape her address, inviting him to hang out together in the afternoon, much to Boy's surprise. Later on, Boy spills the beans to his sister in him about the matter, dismissing and accepting Vera's invitation. However, his curious little sister stirs up a hornet's nest, forcing him to hang out with Vera. She wants her brother to turn over a new leaf and move on from Nuke. After insisting, Boy finally bites the bullet, succumbs to her request, and prepares himself meticulously. Meanwhile, in an unexpected turn of events, Vera's ex-boyfriend, Jeffrey, pops up from the United States and pays a visit to Vera's house in an attempt to reconcile. Upon his arrival, Vera's mother, who is found enjoying the pool, greets him warmly. Meanwhile, Vera elegantly prepares herself, donning a breathtaking dress and styling her hair flawlessly, eagerly anticipating her time with Boy. Much to his dismay, when Jeffrey expresses his wish to take Vera out, Boy was already one step ahead. Upon his arrival, Boy greets Vera's mother warmly before Vera grabs his hand, and they make tracks, while Jeffrey finds himself obliged to stay and chat with Vera's mother. Vera, contrary to Boy's expectations, turns out to be a cool and sociable girl. Boy seems to be having a whale of a time with Vera. For a moment, 
Boy is able to let bygones be bygones and move on from Nuke. Later that night, after accompanying Vera home, she plants a sweet kiss on his lips. A romantic scene that makes Boy's feelings even more euphoric. In the following sequence, we depict him laying on his bed, with a wide smile on his face, reminiscent of the joyful times he spent with Vera, an unforgettable evening that marks the beginning of a new chapter in his life. In the next few moments, we catch sight of our couple hanging together, cherishing each other's company, and engaging in lively conversations, with their laughter and affection filling the air. The next day, while on campus, we're all ears over a photo posted by Vera on Instagram, a picture that catches everyone's eye and ignites their curiosity, a picture capturing Vera kissing Boy's cheek affectionately. Once Jeffrey sees the picture, he becomes enraged and storms out. His friend tries to keep him on the straight and narrow, reminding him that Vera is no longer his girlfriend. However, Jeffrey flies off the handle, asks him to mind his business instead and rushes out, determined to win her back. On the other hand, upon questioning him about his relationship with Vera, Boy reveals that he is going with the flow, appreciative of Vera's delightful personality. Shortly after, Vera approaches Boy with a polite request to take her back home since her car is broken. Encouraged by Iman and Andy, Boy agrees without batting an eye. On the way, Vera mentions that everyone is talking about their picture and speculating about their relationship status, wondering whether they are dating. But before they can delve deeper into the matter, Boy notices that another car has been tailgating them for a while. Upon Vera's inspection, she recognizes it as Jeffrey's car. Annoyed, Boy drives fast until he reaches a suitable location, where he immediately parks his car. With a stern tone, Boy warns Jeffrey to keep his nose out of their business and cease his harassment. Ignoring him, Jeffrey tries to take Vera's hand forcibly, but is quickly defeated when Boy pushes him against the car and twists his arm, demanding that he leave them alone, a move that leaves Jeffrey resentful. Later that night, in a nightclub, Boy is seen with Vera, along with Anna and Iman, living it up to the lively music played by Andy. On the other hand, Jeffrey, unbeknownst to them, ever the eagle eye, followed them, determined to retaliate against Boy. Before joining the group on the dance floor, Boy excuses himself to the restroom for a moment. It is then that Jeffrey seizes the opportunity to confront Boy. With a brass knuckle in his hand, he tries to strike Boy. But Boy, a skilled fighter, proves to be a strong opponent. He beats him easily, leaving him on the floor, making Jeffrey overwhelmed and humiliated. Before departing, he issues a stern warning, emphasizing that Jeffrey should keep his distance. Shortly after, he rejoins Vera, immersing themselves in the vibrant atmosphere of the club. Andy, in a thoughtful gesture, shifts the music to a more romantic tune, urging Inna and Amon to encourage Boy and Vera to dance together. In the following sequence, we catch sight of Boy and Vera in the library studying together, until the calm of their study session is disrupted when Vera, while scrolling through Instagram, stumbles upon an old photo of Boy and Nuke. She wonders why he hasn't deleted it yet, wondering whether he is still carrying a torch for her. In response, Boy admits that he rarely checks his Instagram account and had completely forgotten about the picture. Hurt and feeling overlooked, she accuses him of leading her down the garden path, accusing him of using her as a distraction to fill the void in his life. With tears in her eyes, Vera immediately leaves, leaving Boy in a state of shock, unable to do anything. Later on, while gathering to play, Ine and Iman give Boy a piece of their mind for disappointing Vera, asking him to put himself in her shoes and delete the picture. They advise him to forget about Nuke and move on with his life. Later, back home, we depict Boy sitting in front of his PC, contemplating his picture with Nuke, while his friend's advice echoes in his ears. With a heavy heart and a tear in his eye, he eventually bites the bullet and deletes the picture from his Instagram. The following day, Vera discovers that Boy has deleted the picture, much to her delight. After class, she rushes towards him, extending an invitation for a barbecue party. After burying the hatchet, they both decide to start a new chapter. However, before departing, Boy asks Vera to slowly build their relationship. Perhaps someday their feelings will change, and he doesn't want her to get hurt. Vera agrees silently, planting a kiss on his cheek. Later that night, the couple and their friends gathered, preparing food together, taking pictures, and sharing joyful times. In the following few moments, we observe the growing bond between Boy and Vera, as we witness them spending more time together, cooking meals together, and enjoying movie nights, a relationship blossoming with each passing day. A few days later, while Boy is seen immersed in playing the piano, his sister Anna walks in with a letter in hand. Curious about its content, 
boy immediately opens it, only to be taken aback to find that it is from Nuke, sent from the US. Nuke reveals that she couldn't move on from him and confesses that she misses him immensely. And despite the far distance between them, he is always in her heart and mind. After reading the letter, Nuke makes Boy's feelings of love and longing resurface, stirring the pot of his emotions. While on campus, Vera makes a beeline for Boy, inviting him for dinner that night. She had planned a surprise for him for a while, determined to paint the town red with romantic moments together. However, Boy reveals that he has a boxing match he needs to attend and unfortunately, he cannot move mountains to postpone it. Vera's countenance shifts to a somber one, down in the dumps by his revelation. Sensing her unease, Boy promises that after finishing the match, he will immediately join her for dinner, and he quickly beats a hasty retreat for his studying session, much to Vera's frustration, who cannot rock the boat of her beloved's hobby. In the subsequent scene, we find Boy in the thick of it, engrossed in his match preparation, hell-bent on winning. On the other hand, Vera is seen waiting with bated breath for his arrival at a fancy restaurant. Boy bites the dust following a strong punch, urging his friends to give him the leg up. He succeeds in pulling himself together and gets back to the battle. Eventually, he knocks it out of the park, winning the game, eliciting applause from the crowd. Shortly after, he takes a rain check on his friends in order to reach out to Vera. Upon arriving at the restaurant, Vera looks outraged. She blames him for being late for two shakes of a lamb's tail. Despite Boy's apologies, she feels that he is putting all his eggs in one basket, prioritizing boxing over her. Whereas Boy feels that Vera is as selfish as a cat, he admits that his life doesn't only revolve around her like the earth around the sun, and he chose to join her instead of painting the town red with his friends, much to her anger. Therefore, Vera takes a hike, but Boy throws a spanner in the works, asking to accompany her home, but she gives him the cold shoulder and leaves him alone, saying that she doesn't need him anymore. Disheartened, Boy heads to his car to depart the place. Suddenly, a tense atmosphere shrouds Boy's journey, for Jeffrey and his henchmen come for retaliation. Boy faces each of Jeffrey's henchmen one by one. However, as great as Boy's martial arts skills are, it is difficult for him to win. They soon swarm him to beat him. In that moment, Jeffrey seizes the opportunity to assault Boy, leaving him bruised on the ground before departing. Words of the attack on Boy reach Andy, who rushes immediately to check on his friend. Andy is very angry to find out that his friend has been targeted by Jeffrey's gang. However, despite Boy's plea for Andy to not get involved in the conflict, Andy turns a deaf ear and decides to retaliate. Therefore, he gathers his friends and heads to the billiards base, where Jeffrey and his gang often gather. Amon happens to encounter Andy, so he hastily calls Boy to relay Andy's intentions. Without delay, Boy doesn't stay silent. He doesn't want Andy to get involved any further in his problem. After Andy's gang arrives at the billiard place, a clash with Jeffrey's gang is unavoidable. Therefore, a fight erupts. Fists fly, and shouts fill the air. Furious, Andy attacks Jeffrey until he succeeds, eventually rendering him helpless. Fortunately, Boy soon arrives to intervene, asking them to calm down and separate from each other. Boy requests Jeffrey to stop interfering with his life and demands Andy stay out of his problems. After that incident, the relationship between Boy and Vera deteriorates. One day, while on campus, Acha and her friends start mocking Vera and making fun of her broken relationship with Boy, claiming that her dark magic ran out of its charm. Vera gets outraged and she starts yelling at Acha, asking her to keep her boundaries and respect herself. After a shirt confrontation, Vera loses her nerves and attacks Acha, causing huge chaos that catches everyone's attention, including Boy, who rushes out immediately to settle the argument. Shortly after, Vera follows Boy apologizing for her deed. Little does she know that their relationship is indeed over. Boy confesses that he and Vera are better off as friends than dating. At that precise moment, Vera realizes she has hurt Boy throughout their relationship. Despite feeling deeply regretful, it is too late to rectify her mistakes, leaving her to silently struggle with this sudden turn of events, with tears in her eyes. In the midst of the emptiness that struck Boy's heart, we find him checking the little diary Nuke has sent him, reminiscing about their times together and admiring their pictures. He keeps reading and rereading her letter out of yearning. While gathering around the table for dinner, Boy retreats to his room, drowning in his sadness. Soon, his father joins him, seeking to alleviate his pain. Boy's father, ever supportive, advises him, if love comes easy, go for it. And if it becomes complicated, it may be best to let it go. Therefore, taking this wisdom to heart, Boy moves on from his breakup with Vera. 
and they maintain a friendship, as evidenced by their smiles exchanged on campus. In the following scene, while Boy is seen immersed in playing the piano, Inna walks in, asking him to come outside. Little does he know that he will be reunited with his lover Nuke. After seeing her from afar, he hastily rushes towards her, embracing her tightly out of longing. Soon, we depict them strolling around, with Nuke admitting that her father allowed her to come back to Jakarta, believing that she wouldn't have any contact with Boy anymore. Yet she finds herself knocking on his door. Boy insists on talking to her father and clarifying the misunderstanding between the two families, but Nuke rebuffs, saying that it will only make the whole situation worse. With tears in her eyes, she confesses that she is deeply in love with him, and that she cannot bear the idea of losing him. She reassures him that, despite what they are going through, her love for him is unwavering. The scene, therefore, is sealed with warmth, and the eyes speak volumes. Later on, when Boy is seen confiding in his sister, he admits that he is completely lost. In A, the ever-comforting shoulder, advises him to follow his heart. If Nuke is worth it and deserves to be fought for, he has to take the plunge and claim her back. Initially, Nuke proposes a secret relationship, an offer that Boy refuses. As a true man, Boy didn't want to repeat the same mistake. Thus, he decides to face Nuke's father. The following day, Boy decides it is time to face the music and pays Nuke's father a visit at his office to set the record straight and bury the hatchet, asking politely for his approval. However, Nuke had been keeping Boy in the dark about her father's opposition to their relationship. But now, she couldn't beat around the bush anymore and decides to confront the issue head on. Nuke recounts how, in the past, one of his father's subordinates of their company tried to bribe him. But her father, being clean as a whistle, refused the offer, which sowed the seeds of his opposition. After getting to the heart of the matter, Boy clears the air regarding the misunderstanding. He clarifies that the incident is not related to his father and the man was fired. Confirming his father's integrity, Boy shares his deepest feelings, expressing profound affection for Nuke. However, despite Boy's efforts, Nuke's father, ever stubborn, persists that his father is still, urging Boy to depart with a heavy heart. In the upcoming scene, Nuke's father heads towards his daughter's room. Once she opens the door, he embraces her in a warm hug apologizing for disappointing her and attempting to separate her from her lover. He acknowledges Boy's sincerity, understanding his intentions to protect and bring happiness to his daughter. Therefore, he grants Nuke permission to be with Boy, trusting the strength of their relationship. The problem is eventually resolved. In the final chapter of this tale, we depict Boy and Nuke running on the beach, with their giggles filling the air. They decide to unearth the letters they had buried. Nuke reveals her words, expressing her eternal desire to always be with him. She confesses that when she first met him, she knew that they are destined to be together, prompting a tender smile from Boy. Subsequently, Boy expresses his longing for approval from Nuke's father regarding their relationship. He desires a happy, healthy relationship with Nuke without any obstacles. Eventually, the wish is granted, and the couple in overcoming the challenges in their road. A romantic atmosphere envelopes them, and we bear witness to their delight sharing precious moments with their friends as they enjoy the beach together.